Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Arcanum. Let's uh, head right into this cave at the crash site and see what's inside. And we've got the RPG staple rats. Uh, these are, even though we're in a cave, these are uh, sewer rats. So. Alright, and they're quickly dispatched. Or are there more somewhere? No, okay. Let's see what we have for loot. We've got a junk pile. Alright, uh, what is this? Okay, arrows. We're going to want to take those for much later on. And saltpeter is an ingredient for uh, making bullets. If you're playing a gunner, you definitely want to pick up this stuff anytime you see it. Uh, what do we have here? Railroad spikes. Don't really need those. A small metal tube. Okay, we'll take the uh, healing potion. And fatigue restore. This acts exactly like uh, a potion of... Uh, Restore Fatigue, except it's it's mainly for tech characters. Um, we're going to pick that up, because one of the characters we're going to pick up as a follower is going to be a tech character. The others are either going to be neutral with regard to uh, magic and technology, or are going to be like Virgil, sort of magically inclined. Alright, there we go. More rats out of the way. Uh, what do we have here? Iron ore. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up, because I know I'm going to need it. Take another potion, and what is this? Uh, migraine cure. Okay, hopefully, I know I don't need that now. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you don't need that either right now, gentle viewer. I hope you uh, don't have a headache from my uh, yammering on. Okay, and we've got uh, we've got a ghost rising from the uh, corpse of a human bandit. So let's uh, see if we can talk to him. The spirit appears to be in great pain. Please, I beg of you, the pain. What happened to you? I was cursed by the evil priest. My name was Charles Brego. My friend and I asked only for something to eat, some sustenance. We were poor, wandering, and he cursed us. My friend cursed with madness, attacked me, killed me. The pain. I am cursed to be held to this realm, unable to be released. Please, I need your help. What is it that you would have me do? need to kill priest Arbala. He lives here. Okay, and then he points at the map. Only his death will free me. Alright, we'll say that uh, Mr. Drake has a pretty well-developed sense of morality, so, uh, of course, justice must prevail. Please hurry. Release me from pain. Alright, and that well-developed sense of morality doesn't uh, keep him from going through the barrel right next to the ghost. So let's see what's in here. We have some stun grenades. I'm going to go ahead and take that. Probably won't use it. And some dynamite. Uh, and an explosive grenade. Uh, we can sell those for pretty good money. Um, got some gold. And an old flintlock pistol, which is worth almost nothing. There's some bullets, too. All right. Now, we've got... If we go to this tab here, this is the uh, journal tab. One of the uh, one of the pages gives you rumors that you've heard. These are in black, rumors and notes. So thus far, we've uh, it's got a note about uh, getting the ring from the gnome. It's got a note about meeting Virgil and, and being anointed the living one, uh, at the reincarnation of uh, some important religious figure. And we've got the note on uh, having found the, the plane that had the, uh, the legend Maxim Machinery in Caledon. If we go to this other tab, we've got the quest. So far, we've got the main quest, which is to discover the origins of the ring that we received from the gnome. And now we've got this quest to find, uh, to free the cursed spirit of Charles Brego from a priest named Arbala. And we know where Arbala is on the map because Brego pointed it out. So now we can go ahead and leave the crash site. Uh, we're not going to go right to where Arbala is right now. We're going to head to, uh, the little town that Virgil wants us to meet his mentor in, uh, Brother Joaquin. The town is called Shrouded Hills. So that's where we'll head first, and then we can uh, do some stuff around there and then see what's up with this Arbala fellow and see if we can resolve this issue with Brego's ghost. But we're going to go ahead and leave behind the burning wreckage of the crash site. So we'll come over here. The altar should clear things up for us a bit. Hmm. It says... And the spirit of Nazruddin shall be reborn on wings of fire in hills shrouded in fog, and fight the last battle with the evil one. And the evil one? Who is that? I 
I'm sorry, but I don't know. <laughs> I guess we better find out, considering you're supposed to fight him. Well, I'm glad you find this amusing, because I don't find it amusing at all. I'm sorry. I know this is all a bit much, considering what you've just been through. Let's just get to Shrouded Hills. All right, fair enough. All right, so we'll leave behind this little uh, shrine and make our way. And, oh, here comes someone else. All right, now this is uh, an elf. He's labeled as an elf city dweller, so Drake is likely to have some inclination to trust him because he's an elf. So, uh, hold there. What are you doing up here? Uh, good God, man, I just survived a blazing inferno. I mean no disrespect, uh, sir, but I don't trust this bastard one bit. Bloody convenient he just happened to show up here just now, don't you think? Oh, excuse my language, um, sir. Uh, what do you recommend, Virgil? I've uh, dealt with buggers, uh, <laughs> individuals like this before. Perhaps you'll let me talk with him for a few minutes. Okay, now we could let Virgil handle the conversation, and he would sort of scare this guy off. However, Mr. Drake, uh, because this guy's an elf, and uh, Mr. Drake is perhaps still somewhat traumatized from the whole affair, uh, he's going to be inclined to trust him a bit. So, uh, listen, Virgin, Virgil, I'll do the talking. Um, I'll hear no more of it. Fine. I'm sure you know what's best to do. But be careful with him. I don't like the look in his eye. I'll do what I think is best, Virgil. The man gives Virgil a hard look, then turns to you, nodding. Yes, that's more reasonable. Now, why are you here? It seems I'm the only survivor from the crash of the IFS Zephyr. Then you were on the IFS Zephyr and survived? Did you happen to see a gnome? His name was Preston Radcliffe. Yes, he's lying just over there. I spoke with him before he died. Did he say anything to you before he died? Yes, he, he gave me this ring, and then he'll tell him what he said. Ah, I see. I'm really very sorry. For what? I didn't even know him. Oh, and then he attacks. All right. So Virgil's suspicions were well placed. Okay, and he's <laughs> dodging the attacks pretty well. Virgil is ineffectual as ever, uh, swiping at him with his stick. Okay, and he's dead. All right. Let's search. Oh. This man was a hired killer. Someone doesn't want anyone walking away from this blimp crash. Yes, it seems that way. Perhaps it has to do with the gnome. Hmm. Yes, that may very well be the case. It might be a good idea to find out who owns that ring. Perhaps there will be some answers in Shrouded Hills. Yes. Let's go to Shrouded Hills. All right, that sounds fine. Uh, let's inspect his corpse first. He's not carrying anything there, but if we inspect it, he's got the same amulet that we found on the ogre's body, uh, the ogre that had flown the biplane that would that attacked the Zephyr. So um, there seems to be something to that. So the the mystery deepens. Uh, so let's go ahead and head to Shrouded Hills. Sir, you might wish to consult your map. I believe there might be a quicker way to Shrouded Hills. Okay. And then we can just fast travel. Usually I'll edit out the fast traveling, but since it's so close, um, I'll just go ahead and, we'll just go ahead and travel. Oh, oh shit, this could be bad. <laughs> um, random encounter. Okay, this one might not be too bad. Sometimes you can encounter, uh, like things as high as, you know, level 15 bears, and those can be uh, fairly challenging. All right, Virgil, heal yourself, please. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was... Well, that was close. All right. Let's uh, continue the journey. All right, now we're in Shrouded Hills. Virgil's a little uh, beat up. Elder Joaquim is staying at the inn next to the bank. Okay, so we'll head to Elder Joaquim. First, we want to report this uh, crash. So we'll talk to this human guard. I what? I've just been in the most terrible blimp crash, sir. 
Good God, you mean the Zephyr? I thought I'd heard something in the night. Where did this happen? Just up the hill. I'd recommend you bring the coroner. Oh no, what about the local surgeon? Are there any other survivors? No, it seems luck has only favored myself. A lucky soul you are, and you've come to the right man. Being the local constable, it will fall on me to take action. We'll have to send a party up to the site as soon as possible. Yes, yes, I do have a few more questions, though. Of course, go ahead. Uh, what can you tell me of this place? Surely, this is Shrouded Hills, a mining town through and through. As far as towns go, it's pretty old, but we've got most of what a soul might need. Um, who's in charge around here? Well, I sort of double as the constable and the town mayor. I suppose you could say I'm the man to see. Um, what's the quickest way out of town? Yes, well, that's a sticky situation. You see, there's only one bridge to the east of town, and currently that very bridge is being held by a group of thieves. Please continue. We're building another bridge further down the river, but these thieves are making anyone who crosses the bridge pay a heavy toll. Needless to say, the locals aren't happy. Uh, why haven't you done anything about it, Constable? Well, I, I've been very busy with other problems. Uh, of course, I plan to take care of them as soon as is humanly possible. I'm sure you're very busy. Uh, perhaps I could help. Really? Oh, I, I mean, not that I need it. Uh, you seem fit for the job, always uh, thought about getting a deputy. Sure, if you're willing, I suppose I could give you a chance. I'd be honored to remove them. What's the pay? You're an amateur, but I suppose I could see my way to paying you 50 gold pieces for the job. Done. Great, I'll look forward to hearing about your success. Come back when you've solved the problem. I'll return when I've taken care of things. All right, so we've got another quest to clear some thieves out uh, from a bridge. But uh, first we're going to head down to the inn and see if we can meet up with Elder Joaquin. And I think this is the end. Yeah, Shrouded Hills Inn. There we go. All right. Joaquin's room is at the end of the hall okay. on the left. That would be all the way down here. And. Good God! What's happened here? These men. I, I've never okay, seen. Okay, so we've got a couple of corpses. Hopefully, none of them. Uh, well, they're. Okay, well, there's a human villager and a half orc bandit. Hopefully, neither of them is Joaquin. Let's see what they're carrying on them. Okay, and this one has that same strange amulet. And the human villager, I think, is going to have the amulet, too. Yeah. All right, let's see what the note says. Uh, we've got a note from Joaquin to Virgil. Virgil, I assume you're not alone. As you can see, there are people in Shrouded Hills looking for me. Luckily for me, these fellows were easily dispatched. Do not speak with anyone about the Zeppelin crash or your new companion's involvement with it. When you're able to make your way to Tarrant, check the telegram office there. I will leave a message telling you where to contact me, Joaquin. Sorry to interrupt, but it seems Joaquin has discovered something. These individuals seem to be part of some larger plot. Plot against it looks that way. Tell me, Virgil, who exactly is Joaquin? He is, well, someone who helped me out when I needed it. I met him in a small village at a Panari temple. I was, uh, a bit down on my luck. He showed me that you don't always have to take what life gives you. That there's always a better path. And that it's always your choice to travel. It. What do you mean, down on your luck? What had happened? I, I'd rather not talk about it anymore, but Joaquim is a great man, well-versed in the ways of the Panari, and also in the ways of the world. If he thinks we're in trouble, then we are. Let's get out of here and get to Tarant. All right, Virgil, perhaps we'll talk more of this later. Okay, and Virgil is lost in thought. Uh, when we return, we are eventually going to head to Tarant to try to track down uh, Joaquim and... Uh, try to unravel this mystery a bit but first we're uh, in the next episode we're going to look around shrouded hills and see what we can find there so as always thank you for watching and please stay tuned